Wir kommen heute zur nächsten Folge von Pass of Exile. Heute geht es dann in Akt 9 weiter auf zum Blutäquadukt und mal sehen, was dort passiert ist, wie sich die Dinge verändert haben. Mal gucken, wie weit sich die Karte hat sich auf jeden Fall auch deutlich geändert. Also die Veränderung mit den Skills, die ich jetzt ein bisschen vorgenommen habe und noch ein bisschen zusätzliche Fähigkeiten reingenommen habe, um die zu optimieren und den Schaden zu maximieren, hat auf jeden Fall bisher ganz gut Früchte getragen. Mal sehen, ob das so bleibt und so das Gefühl davon doch ganz gut austeilen zu können, auch erhalten bleibt. Insgesamt sind meine Bereiche, wo jetzt halt die Flüche aktiv werden können, deutlich ausgeweitet dass ich da automatisch einen größeren Bereich eben abdecken kann. Und schon darf ich das erste Level heute aufsteigen. So, für heute ist erstmal jetzt hier die Vernichtung noch zu aktivieren, damit natürlich nochmal die Zauber gestärkt werden. Und danach werde ich hier in der Richtung den Bonus für den Energieschild holen. Naja, mal schauen, ob ich mit denen in die Richtung dann noch was mache. Ansonsten ist hier für den Chaos-Schaden nochmal dort die Maximierung. Das ist allerdings noch ein ziemlich weiter Weg, um die dann alle zu aktivieren und später dann eventuell noch hier den Explosionsradius wieder zu aktivieren. So, mal sehen, wie es bei Ihnen jetzt aussieht und wer alles noch da ist und wer verloren gegangen ist. Wer das wohl ist. Naja, auf jeden Fall, die Gambling Queen ist nicht da und die Anführerin auch nicht. The Dark Ember remains nestled deep within the putrid flesh of my dead beast. With many of Highgate's tunnels now collapsed, we must forge another way inside. I have divined one weak point in the beast's flank. An ancient wound wrought by that varlish overreacher, Doriani. The wound was healed shut by a thick membrane, but the right decoction should dissolve the tissue and allow us inside. Of course, for a cordial of such potency, I shall require two ingredients of utmost rarity. First, our viscous concoction shall require basilisk acid, a princely poison which drips from the caustic heart of the basilisk, and trathen powder an explosive substance oft used in the mining of virtue gems. With these two bitter harvests, I shall brew something worthy of eroding the membrane of my decaying pet. Damit also schon mal die ersten beiden Aufgaben. Within the ruins of Highgate Refinery you shall find it. Trathen powder. A slightly more unstable blend to the kind found within the celebratory rockets and illuminations of Trathus. Basilisk acid drips from the hearts of those venomous monsters, though I cannot blame them for their disposition. They are tragic creatures. Theirs is a sorry tale more closely tied to my own than I care to dwell upon. Alas, the forging of my dark ember produced some rather unfortunate byproducts. You can gripe all you want, lover. We can't stay here. Not with all this blood. Where do you expect us to go, Vanya? We have our whole lives here in Highgate. I don't know. West, perhaps? The Ezemite land. I don't care. Just somewhere that has unpoisoned water. Oh, uh, Beast Slayer. Good to see you again. Even if you have happened upon us in a rather unruly time. Shush now, sweetie. There's no need to bother them with our woes. I can see on your face you haven't heard. It's Kira. She's gone mad. Absolutely bonkers. She's abducted a Yon. Stolen off with her into the desert. And to make matters worse... The whole of Highgate is in a state of disarray. There's beast blood in the water. Usurpers are eyeing up the throne. And the old gods have risen. If you want my advice, get out of Highgate. Or save us. While you still can. You must have encountered men and women like us before. Relic hunters. Ahem. <clears throat> Collectors of rare antiquities. Anyway, Vanya and I are the best in the business. And we need your help locating a particularly rare item. Sweets, I was working them into it. It's an ancient sword, belonging to the Maraketh goddess Garukan. The Stormblade, some call it. A weapon carved from crystal, capable of capturing even the most powerful of storms within its rigid edge. The goddess lost it, somewhere in the eastern desert during her ancient battle against the necromancer Suresh and his undead horde. According to our research. Find the blade for us and we will make it worth your while. 
We do this ourselves, but what with the political unrest in Highgate as of late? We fear leaving, lest we find the gateways barred and ourselves without a home. Da ist auf jeden Fall einiges los. Also Chiara, die vorher hier das Zeug verkauft hat, ist verschwunden mit Oyun. Na, das kann ja lustig werden. Please, Vanya, don't say it. Say what? I told you so? Well, I never trusted Kira. Her need to control everything, no matter the cost, was never a trait I held much faith in. Yes, but ambition is not the problem. I have ambition. Do you not... Of course, I trust you, sweetie, but you're not about to go killing everything that moves in exchange for a bit of power now, are you? Well, I'd trade dreams of power for dreams of you, my sweets, any day. <laughs> oh, Pataris. Irasha? Well, she's the best we've got. Strong, purposeful, an honorable warrior. I think the description you're failing to provide, love, is stick in the mud. Stick in the mud? Yes, as stubborn and serious as they come. You just don't like her because she treats you differently. Irasha is a stuck-up elitist. She refuses to see me as a woman. Oh, sweets. You're more woman to me than all of them put together. I'll let Vanya take this one. Thank you, love. I trained in Ori As a witch? Imagine that. I thought I was telling this story, Pataris. Yes, sorry, sweet. I learned all about the old gods. They were supposed to be our idols, beings of divinity that guided us through our mortal lives. But they aren't like that at all, are they, love? Hardly. The gods know better than we are, and nobody that is as bad as us should ever wield that much power. As bad as us? Speak for yourself. I'm positively delightful. Yes, yes, you're so sweet. They dipped you in a barrel of sugar as a babe. We know. Hm. Ah, die beiden sind einfach herrlich. You must be the outsider. The beast killer. I am Irasha. And while our soft-hearted chieftainess has gone wandering, it falls to me to make sure this Akara doesn't suffer for it. I've heard the stories they tell of you, and I know better than to pluck the feathers from a sleeping rock. Yet, for the sake of my people, I ask that you keep your peace while among us. Our customs have too often been threatened. Your ways are not our ways. Let's keep it like that. Oyun is gone for but a few days and already Tasuni sniffs at the throne like it's a bitch in heat. Ruled by a man. You need only walk amongst the ruins of San to understand that folly. Well, his desires are but wants and lusts while Oyun still lives. One of my scouts saw Kira and her Dekara near the foothills. They had Oyun bound to the back of a rower like a hunter's prize. And the Sekema feather, our symbol of leadership, worn by her captor. Whether Kira works alone or in pack with her brother Tasuni, I know not. Yet I fear she means to sacrifice our Sekema to the vulture of the wastes. Garukan, please, this Akara has helped you in the past. Return our kindness. Free Oyun and return her safely to us. And if this quest is lost, remove the traitorous bitch Kira from this world and retrieve our feather. As long as we have that, the throne of Marrakech will remain safe. Zumindest steht sie auf jeden Fall nicht hinter Kiara. No matter where you come from or who you might be, we were all birthed by a mother. Our mothers protected us and gave us nourishment. It is our duty in life to honor that great task. Without a mother, none would tread this dirt today. The most important commandment in our people's tradition is this. Honor the mother. Honor the life. Arrogant men always seek to control that which they should not. As if that dangling piece of meat between their legs is somehow meant to lead them to power and glory. Men don't have the mind for leadership. Without guidance, they destroy all they touch. Leave the trials of power to women. We, who know how to nurture, how to grow, how to protect. Once I thought the old gods were worthy of honor, and I can still see how one might think they are boons to be gained courting their favor. But if such favor comes at the price of Marraketh lives, then I spit on the old gods, and Kira as well. May they all rot in the endless desert. Through treacherous deeds and blind love, the gemling queen has taught us much. Her body remains here, surrounded mm. by flowers. A reminder to all of us that we ought to tread lightly when chasing desire. Das heißt, die da oben liegt, ist dann Dayala. 
Though you showed a mighty bravery when you slew that horrendous beast, by the thoughtlessness of your actions you have caused great trouble to fall upon our home. The water runs red with toxic corrupted blood. Now our people must travel far to fill their flasks and feed their livestock. It's as if we're in the midst of a great drought, while the water mocks us from within our own village. Ja, alles hat seine Folgen und auch das erschlagen der Bestie ist dann doch mit ziemlichen Nachteilen verbunden. The nightmares are but whispers now, yet like prophets, cowering within crevice and crack. They speak of old gods returned and the reprisal of an exile to a beleaguered land. My sister Kira has grown obsessed with the vulture of the wastes, our goddess Garukan. Kira has taken Oyun and plans to sacrifice her, imagining she can reforge herself as a red Sakema, a warlord destined to unite the Madaketh under her bloody banner. My sister's betrayal is too great for forgiveness. Like a rabid dog wandering the mountain pass, she must be put down. I ask this of you, for you are familiar with such barbarism and would not feel the pangs of mercy that I would. On her person, I suspect you will find Oyun's royal mandate, the Sakema Feather. If Kara truly wishes to take the throne, she would need such an item to be considered more than a simple usurper. Bring it to me for safekeeping. And please, Return our Sakema or Yun to us, if you can. If she still lives, that is. But don't risk your life for hers. For I know her mind. She would not want that. Yes, I know of that dark god perched atop your shoulder. His image comes forth in my mind's eye. And I hear the sound of his breath crackle against the coldness of our mountain air. He has a different energy to the other gods revealed in my dreams. Less hostile, more empathetic to the plight which humanity suffers. Should his brethren be left to roam free? It seems, Lord Sin, as if you are on our side. Why ask me about her? That woman doesn't like me very much, and I can't say I'm particularly fond of her either. She seems to have gotten into her head somehow that I am the epitome of all evil. A selfish, blind villain. Nothing can be further from the truth, other than the blind part, of course. I suppose Irasha has good intentions. She truly wishes to see our tribe flourish. However... She is too caught up in ancient traditions to see that for us to truly flourish, we must transcend tradition. We must become progressors of the future, not attendants to dry, dusty history. Also, das soll also Diala sein. Sie ist also dann gestorben. A traveler on the winds, Garakan pridefully plundered the sky for its secrets. To her mind, wisdom could be found in the eye of a hurricane. Please understand that Garukan is not an evil being. She was once my friend and companion. Her beauty astonished me as her aspirations inspired me. Yet I must forgo my sentiments for the sake of humankind. Like winds erode the sandstone, Garukan has been warped by the same powers she enslaved. This is not my goddess that you shall slay. And if I continue to say it, I might very well come to believe it. I weep for my poor Garukan. Together we experience the loftiest moments that this world could offer. Alas, it was my heavy heart that she could no longer bear. I knew her pride would one day be the storm that would ravage my precious humanity. In truth, it was for Garukan that I sowed the dark ember within the depths of Highgate. When love cannot be slain, it must be laid down to sleep. Das sind also seine Intentionen gewesen, die Beste zu erschaffen. Der Abstieg. Beim letzten Mal war es noch der Aufstieg. Hm, die kenne ich noch gar nicht. Damit kann man Gegenstände noch besser modifizieren, indem man nur selektiv Sachen entfernt. 
Aber auch wieder nicht gezielt. Ein verleibter Schatz. Da kommt doch ein Unique raus, ne? Ja. Naja, dann sollte sich das mit dem Frost ja zumindest erledigt haben. Okay, die Sturmklinge ist hier. Dinos. Oder sowas ähnliches. Die sind alle so schnell unterwegs, sonst waren die Mumien doch viel langsamer. So, also was ist jetzt in der Truhe? Die Sturmklinge oder was anderes? So. Und scheint wird sie bewacht. Ja, die Sturmklinge. Gaokan suchte Wahnsinn und Weisheit inmitten der wogenden Wolkendecke. You did it! They found it, Bataris! They found it! By the gods! Garukan's famed Stormblade! Do you know what this means, my sweet? Once we find the right collector... Oh, we can go anywhere, have anything. We will be like royalty. But the storm inside is a problem. It's too volatile in its current state. You're right. We can't trade away a weapon of such apocalyptic nature. This will require some pondering, my love. Und hoffentlich machen die keinen Blödsinn mit dem Ding. Have you ever heard much of the Marraketh legends? A truly unique cosmology of strange creatures, pagan gods and powerful treasures. One such story talks of a magical stone dial. A Marraketh calendar, said to detail important events in the future of our world. General Adis, a war hero of the Empire, reported in his diaries of discovering a dial meeting that description at a dig site somewhere in the foothills. It appears the war hero had a secret penchant for archaeologies. But the cataclysm wiped the land clean and buried the dig site in rocks and sand. No one has been able to locate it since, nor the stone dial. Seems that with everything that's been going on of late, knowing what's due to happen in the future could be a fairly profitable ability. We know you would never have use for such a gift. It would remove all the enjoyment out of adventure for someone like you. Yet, in times such as these, our small folk could do well with a heads up if something particularly nasty were to occur. Besides, a relic like that should sit in a museum. Or our collection. Not be lost beneath the rubble where it benefits no one. If you were to track the calendar down for us, we would pay you handsomely, Exile. Yes, we are traders of antiquities, after all. Mm -hmm. Ah ja, also gleich das nächste Teil, was ihr haben wollt. Hm. Ah, das heißt, hier ist der Weg unterbrochen. Mhm. Das heißt, hier gibt es dann gleich jetzt das nächste zu entdecken. In the Marrakesh Desert, an oasis lies to the east. Its waters shielded from prying eyes by a preternatural storm. The sand will rip the very flesh from your bones. Should you be so foolish as to enter into its dark shroud, yet enter you must. The goddess Shakari hides within that golden blizzard, festering with revenge as she resurrects and rebuilds her ancient army, an army that once threatened to shake the very balance of these lands. Should she be allowed to revitalize her troops, the whole of Marraketh will finally fall under the cruelty of her selfish reign. The storm is impenetrable for now, even to the likes of me, but there must be a way in. These Highgate locals, they have an affinity for the desert and harsh weather. One of them may know of a way to disperse the storm. Okay, das ist dann die zweite Göttin. It is not something I deign to speak of often, but this goddess, this creature, she was once the flesh of my flesh, blood of my blood. I rose into the clouds and fell into the arms of their queen, the beautiful Garu Khan. Now if you think that mortal marriages are difficult to navigate, try an immortal one. We parted ways, yet not before my young queen of the sands was born into this world of filth and horror. Now you see how I must suffer for the sake of humanity, to lay mine own daughter upon the sacrificial altar. Seine Frau und seine Tochter. 
Well, it took some time, but thanks to our Maraketh neighbours... ...and their ancient traditions... ...we managed a strain of thaumaturgy to remove the storm from Garukhan's blade. We even bottled it for safekeeping. We'd rather not trust anyone with this sort of power, but perhaps you can use it to clear away that sandstorm in the desert? Find out what sort of nasties are hiding out there in the desert and put a stop to them. Ein gefangener Sturm. Man sollte nicht versuchen, den Sturm zu ködern. Ihn nicht einladen, seine tyrannische Seele nichts zu sichern. Wir überleben nur, indem wir den Sturm mit Geschenken und Gaben der Verehrung besänftigen. Wir hoffen, dass er in seiner Gnade an uns vorbeizieht. Das heißt, ich kann jetzt doch in die Oase. When I received my first flower of blood, I was given to the ritual of womanhood. All young Maraketh women have to dance with a scorpion to prove themselves worthy of carrying the Dakara's spear. It is no easy task to catch a black Maraketh scorpion. Their tails are swift, their sting is sharp, their poison lethal. I made my way through the trial unscathed, but my sister, we shared a womb, came into this world together. She left it, thrashing and foaming at the mouth. Since that day, I have slept with one eye open for fear of the scorpion's sting. And now Shakari, the mother of all black bugs, rises from the sands. Find that scuttling bitch and kill her for me and for every child, every little girl who has suffered and died by the barb of a countless poison tails. Dann gehen wir erstmal den Götterspuren nach. Also auf in den Sturm. Oh, schon von alleine aufgelöst, muss ich gar nichts anklicken. Stimmt, das ist wie die Oase von der einen Map. So, das heißt, bei der Göttin erwarten mich dann jetzt noch zwei Monster, also sie und ja, wahrscheinlich der Skorpion extra. Hm. Na dann auf in den Kampf. Aha, du ziehst dich dann weiter zurück. Super. Hier. Ah, okay, dann geht es jetzt wieder zum Kämpfen weiter. Das heißt, die Schnitzeljagd ist jetzt zu Ende. Hm, das heißt, die ist jetzt das Letzte. Ich versinke immer tiefer im Dreizand. Da. Ja, wenn ich an die weiteren Stellen zu stehen komme, dann klappt das überhaupt nicht. Ha.
A mother's keen heart shall bleed into the dreams of her daughter. Once a beauty who held captive the hearts of men and women alike, Shikari's splendor decayed into lust for the power possessed by her skyborn mother. My daughter once sought out such power within the great sands of this desert. Ever determined, she found it, and it made of her the twisted creature you so mercifully dispatched. Driven by agony and shame, she built an army out here in these sweltering lands, and would have conquered the very sky had not the beast soothed her into peaceful oblivion. A babe once more, sleeping in her cradle. Seele von Shakari. Mit Immunität gegen Gift, mit der Erweiterung zumindest. Tja, bis zum Hals im Sand stecken. You killed Shikari. My sister's death has finally been avenged. Shikari was supposed to be our divine teacher, said to guide us into womanhood. All she ever gave was death. I suppose it's fitting that the teacher has learnt that mortal lesson for herself. Our whole lives, we have lived for the blessings of our goddesses. Yet here they are, in the flesh, proving to us that they are only monsters. So, here geht's jetzt gleich zur kochenden See. Mal sehen, was es da genau gibt. Oh. Die werden bestimmt irgendwann aufwachen. Ach, die Basilik. Basilisken konnten doch auch Menschen in Stein verwandeln. Aha, der Basilisk. Na also. Und jetzt versteinert er mich. <lacht> mit seinem bösen Blick. Oh, ja, wusste ich doch, dass die noch aufwachen. Weil der Fluch des Basilisten gebrochen ist, laufen die jetzt alle hier rum. Boah, das ist ja ein großes Teil. Tötet Felsrücken. Welcher Felsrücken? Aha. Ich weiß ja nicht mal, wer es ist. Ach, der hat den Kalender des Schicksals gehabt. Der König blickt auf Bilder, die wirbelnd an der Spitze einer uralten Steinscheibe erschienen. Ach genau, jetzt kommen wir langsam wieder in den Berg hinein. Oh, eine Aszendenzprüfung. Und das sind jetzt noch die nächsten drei Aszendenzprüfungen für den schweren Teil. Ein Emperor muss bear two blades. Hope in the left hand, surety in the right. Na ja, genau, das ist nur der zweite. Das heißt, einer fehlt mir noch. Dann könnte ich es angehen, meine nächsten zwei Ascendancy Points zu holen. Boah, das war. Sehr hilfreich. Mal gucken, ob sie jetzt gleich noch einen neuen Auftrag für mich haben. Ah, our relic hunter returns. You could make a regular go at this. How about it, Hero? Leave behind your warmongering ways and work for us. No? Well, never mind. In any case. Ja, der Steinbruch, den gab's auch schon als Karte. Ach, das sind die Reste vom Biest wahrscheinlich. Schreien der Winde. Und das heißt, da komme ich erst dann durch. Und da dürfte die zweite Göttin sein. Ah ja. Sie gehört direkt dazu. Seine Ex-Frau. Okay. 
Ja, du hier. Wo ist denn dann Odin? Hast du die schon geopfert? Zumindest hast du nicht die Feder. Okay. Alle Götter bezwungen. Ah, da ist jetzt die Feder. Wir mögen wir zu wissen, welche Schikara der Herrscher würdig ist. Durch die Salbung des großen Rock, der uns unter seinen Flügeln nährt und emporhebt. Und Tasuni oder Isha, Irasha, der Träger der Feder, wird über hohen Vorteil herrschen. Na super! Das heißt, ich darf entscheiden, wer von beiden. It shames me to know the horrors wrought by our hands here and now. Garukan was complicated, but she was also stubborn and never would have thought to change her ways. We have given her a sky burial. That is the best we can do. Even in the old times, she was vain beyond comparison. It was her ambition that corrupted her, despite all my warning words. Well, look now, where ambition has gotten you, my love. Über die Bewegungsgeschwindigkeit, wenn ihr kürzlich nicht getroffen wurdet. Naja, damit ist das Panthenon komplett vorerst. Aha, das heißt, das wird dann frei geätzt. The Ember is a seed. The black core of the beast's heart. It is the pure, undiluted essence of corruption. Everything my pet once was. All of its power, the stupefying effect it had on us gods, it all dwells within this dark ember. With this, we shall lay Kitava to waste. The once starved god shall fill his gut and pass on into oblivion. Kitava will fall, and the ember shall disperse into nothing more than ash dancing across the cobbled rooftops of Oriath. I have Oyun überhaupt nicht gesehen. So, dann mal schauen, was die beiden zu sagen haben, wenn ich die Feder noch nicht gleich mitnehme. Uyun was my friend. To depart this world in the manner she did is... Barbaric. And without a protector for the tribe, we're sitting ducks here. Tasuni thinks he can rule, but he's seduced by all manner of dark things. There is no easy fix here. I'll be awake for many nights to come. I'll be right beside you, my love. Let's not fool ourselves, love. You'll be sleeping. In any case, it'll be time to crown a new chieftainess soon. Or chieftain, Tasuni is next in the bloodline. Sure, he doesn't mind breaking a few rules, but at least he's no dominus. I do hope you're joking, Swedes. The Madaketh are a matriarchy. The men here aren't used to being in charge. Tasuni would ruin everything the mother stands for. You would have them crown Irasha. She's strong, stable, and traditional. I don't see why she shouldn't rule. Because, ironically, Tasuni has the mm. one thing that Irasha lacks. What's that? Vision. Yeah, super. When I was twelve, three men came out of the Vastiri Plains and set their eyes upon me. They asked me for water, but took much more. When the woman of Highgate finally caught them, I was given an opportunity to enact the execution myself, an offer I gladly took. Even at twelve, I knew the price for betraying the Akara. Tasuni knew Oyun was to perish at the hands of that overreaching bitch. Yet he did nothing to save her. Should I ever be in a position to punish such treachery, I shall do so with pleasure. Okay, das heißt, sie killed ihn dann. As a child, my mother told me stories of the old gods, that they were to be feared and venerated, that they embodied the everlasting spirit of the Maraketh people. But this false queen, Garukan, she was nothing but a goddess of lies. By accepting Kira's slaughter of Oyun as a sacrifice of worth, the goddess has played her part in forsaking our most sacred tenant. Honor the mother, honor the life. The bones of our tribe mother have been ground into the dust by this divine insanity? If the old gods can't follow the very traditions they themselves set forth, then how can we? 
Perhaps the time has come to forge our customs anew, in our image, not those of false and selfish gods. Und was sagt das Suni dazu? In life. In Gar nichts. Aber ich will auf jeden Fall nicht, dass die den einfach hinrichtet. Tja, das Suni. Rasha. Schwierige Entscheidung. Es gibt nicht allzu viele Informationen bisher. The shadows are lifting at last. Hand in hand. You and I. We have guided my people towards a brighter future. I suppose you wonder why I do not mourn? For my sister? For Oyun? Why should I? <sighs> There is no sense in shedding a tear for those who stand in the way of progress. They have passed from this coil. And that is the best thing either could have done for their people. With a porcicama removed from a saddle, the way is clear. In lieu of a worthy leader, I shall step up. And with the backing of my followers, claim the throne of Highgate. Irasha may spit and curse, yet her duty shall overcome her distaste. She will bow to the one who bears the feather, as high custom dictates. Tasuni has the feather, then Highgate is saved. It's about time they gave the men of the tribe a chance to prove themselves. Tasuni will usher in a new dawn for the Marrakech. For all our sakes, I hope you're right, sweets. Have you not got anything between those legs of yours, my dear? One would suppose that a man would like another man to rule more than he would a woman. Well, one would suppose wrong, then. Tasuni may benefit me simply because I was born of the same sort as he, but it's the future of this fascinating tribe that worries me. He's reckless and flippant of their sacred traditions. I fear, with him at the front of their Dakara, they will lose what makes them sacred. They will become like the bloody savages that wander the wastelands, or worse, a blackguard. Being a blackguard wasn't that bad, surely. <sighs> Never again. My poor Oyun. Tell me, Exile, did she suffer? No. I don't desire to know. She was a good ruler. Wise and benevolent. Our people will miss her, and I shall grieve her as if she were my own flesh and blood. But now, Tasuni, with feather in hand, moves to take Highgate for himself. His followers are as blind as he, and so must you be, for it's clear to my eyes that Tasuni desires but one wish, to rise up as a god. We've seen our old gods born anew from the sand, flesh and blood where once there was only song and story. Tasuni would turn his weak flesh and watery blood into law and legend? To think that Highgate might fall to the whims of that shriveled cock. You have brought me grief, then that is typical of outsiders, is it not? Naja, lässt sich so nicht mehr ändern. Beim nächsten Durchspielen kann ich es ja dann andersrum ausprobieren. Und wenn du zum Gott werden solltest, wirst du halt auch erledigt. Also dann das zweite Element noch geholt und dann ab zur Bestie. Okay, da ist schon die Zutat. General Ados. Äh, General. Ja doch. Der aktiviert doch. Muss es doch. Ja, ich denke, die Blitze haben mir weniger anzutun. Oder machen weniger Schaden, als wenn ich dem tatsächlich dort einen Schlag abbekomme. Wo steckst du denn? So, Tür ist offen. Theoretische Beschleunigungsmaschine. Gut, damit ist das Pulver auch gesichert. And so my mistakes are put to rest, and the mighty general has fallen. We honor them both with this brew. Now that I have both ingredients, I shall brew us a nice cup of what we need. There has never been a substance more corrosive than this, apart from my dear Garu Khan's sarcastic wit. Let us meet soon at the blood pools surrounding the Legion, and from there we shall burn ourselves a pathway into the belly of the beast. Also, Nefarius, then let us go. Here we stand, amidst the coagulating remnants of my creation. Funny, isn't it? Once I placed my beast on a pedestal as my pride and joy. 
Yet now I send you to breach the hull of my pet's fouling black core. I have brewed for us a potion from the remnants of our harvesting hunt. I shall apply this fermentation to the weakened membrane and meet you within the black core where we shall further our agenda. The black core was ja auch das, wo ich im ersten Teil gekämpft habe. Die Albtraumfiguren sind jedenfalls nicht mehr hier. Zumindest nicht mehr ganz. Das ist halt alles jetzt am Verrotten. Ah, Tiefschlund. Hätte ich doch fast verpasst. Jawohl. Gut, ein weiteres einzigartiges Monster erledigt. Mal gucken, dann dürften mir jetzt eigentlich nicht mehr allzu viele fehlen. Genau, eins fehlt noch. Oh nein! Regnus Herold der Sonne. Den habe ich dann, an dem bin ich dann vorbeigekommen. Da muss ich dann nochmal in den anderen Akt zurück. Mal schauen, ob das jetzt schon der Bereich ist, wo eigentlich die drei Areden im ersten Teil gewesen sind. Das schwarze Herz. Das ist die eigentlich die Arena, in der ich das erste Mal mit Malakai gekämpft habe. Naja, so entfernt mit den beiden Kreisen kommt es schon hin. Aber halt nur entfernt. Wahrscheinlich während der dann irgendwelche Essenzen extrahiert, muss ich dann irgendwelche Wellen von Monstern zurückschlagen. Die drei Dinge habe ich ja kaputt gemacht. Und das hier ist anscheinend neu gewachsen. Something doesn't seem right. Yes, it would appear our old friend Malachi has one final trick to play. A thaumaturgical wound to the hearts of my precious beast. This complicates things, but not perhaps so much that there is nothing we can do. Exile, listen to me. I am about to release the souls of our unholy trinity from their decanter. Their anger will exude more power than you have experienced ever before. You must defeat them one by one to fuse their oh. remnants into something volatile enough to coax the dark ember from its womb. Ready yourself. Na super. Ach so, ich musste erst rein und dann darf ich jeden von den dreien einzeln erledigen. Okay, fangen wir mit Dördre an. Deswegen auch noch so viele Monster. Die Arena. Zumindest hier im Moment ohne Flüche. Was aber nichts heißen muss. Ich die Flüche jetzt schon mehrfach drauf. Das heißt, jedes Mal, wenn ich den Stein zerstöre, kriege ich aber die Flüche zurückgesetzt. Oder die Schwächungen. Coole Mechanik. Ich sollte mich mehr auf Dordre konzentrieren als auf die Monolithen. Ah, okay. Gut, Nummer 1 erledigt. The souls of these three continue to surprise us. Quickly now, the hearts have become doorways. Enter N, complete your mission, though I cannot say exactly what you will find on the other side. So, am nervigsten ist Malegaro. Mal sehen, ob Chevron 
gut zu überleben ist, weil dann kriege ich nämlich bald noch meinen Skillpoint fertig. Na, komm. Abaxot! Oh Mann! Es wird ja immer schlimmer. Der fehlt mir jetzt hier garantiert nicht. Das wird lustig, wenn er jetzt gleich auftaucht. Und da ist er schon. Weg, weg, weg. Habe ich den schon erwischt? Okay, dann sind wir auch gleich am Ende. Dann mal schauen, wie es in Ihrer Arena zugeht. Da kommen nur noch ein kleines Stück. Na also. Geht doch. So, dann fehlt nur noch eine. Den mag ich am allerwenigsten. Der hat mich immer am schnellsten erledigt. Naja, so weit kann es ja jetzt bei dir auch nicht mehr sein. Na also, da ist schon das Ende. Ja. Langsam sind die Monster alle erledigt. Na dann, Maligaro, schauen wir mal, was du auf Lager hast jetzt. Maligaro, der gebrochen hat. Wenn die eine entfesselt ist ist er schon deutlich schwächer. Oh. Vielleicht auch einfach nur, weil da jetzt viele ist. Okay. Na, das ging ja. 
At last, our trio joins to become one foul spirit. Destroy that creature of darkness and let us be rid of this place. Jetzt noch mal alles zusammen. Okay. Jetzt bist du abgetaucht. Was werden das jetzt für Dinger? der Captain und die vom ersten Akt. Okay. You're questioning me. The great sea mistress Lily Roth about how she so happened to find you failing at drowning on some godforsaken fleshy piece of land. Thought it'd be obvious. Grandfather and I, we came to thank you for our little reunion here you started. Caught wind that you were playing around up here with that dead beast from the locals. So we followed your trail, dreading we'd be finding your body but strewn all over this godforsaken mountain. But lo and behold, what do we get? Our favorite exile twiddling their thumbs. Your lucky old Whalem still got some former surgical prowess in his bones. How the hell did you end up here anyhow? Well, I suppose you'll be wanting us to ferry you over to Oriath. Take care of that nasty cannibal god Katava once and for all. Well, we'd be glad to oblige. There'll be plenty of treasures in ruined Theopolis just sitting there for the taking, I'm sure. Say the words and we'll set the sails. I ain't gonna lie to you, friend. You look like actual shite. Like a real big steamy pile of goat droppings. What in the bloody hell happened to you since we last crossed compasses? Well, never fear. Your favorite Captain Old Rottooth is here to save the day. I guess I owes you a bit on account of bringing Lily and I back together. I, as you can see, finally found a missing powder in my shot pouch. By that I mean my courage. Managed to make my way over to Lion Eye's watch to see my granddaughter finally. Tell you... I don't know what in the blazes I was fretting about. She took to me like a fish to water. It was as if no time had passed at all. Anyhow, it'd be lucky for you that we did so, as we were out looking for you to offer our thanks. Followed me compass, listened to the taumaturgical whisperings of my ship, and next we know, we'd be following a trail of blood and guts leading straight to you, wasting your time in the middle of God knows where. Bin ich aus der Bestie ausgespült worden. Die Docks von Oriad. Und die sind also schon freigeschaltet. Gut, aber da geht es dann entsprechend wieder beim nächsten Mal weiter. Das heißt, ich mache jetzt erstmal Pause. Schaue aber noch mal kurz in die Stadt zurück. Okay, hier hat sich zumindest noch nicht wirklich viel verändert. What was that earthquake caused by? Some sort of death shudder from that volatile beast? I have no thaumaturgical bone in my body, yet still I can sense the corruption seeping out of the cracks in that mountain. This can't be. Why would you disturb it to rest? Hush now, sweetie. The situation is more complex than you would first think. The Marraketh sat under the curse of the beast for thousands of years. They've just gotten free, yet now you do something to bring the source of its darkness into our very presence. This is unconscionable. It's the right choice. Would you rather a hostile reign of warring immortals? Our hero obviously has some kind of plan in mind. If this shift in the mountain can remove the gods from Rayclast, then I, for one, am happy to be shook up a little. Well, whatever the case, at least we have each other. And we are strongest when we stand together. There I was, tending to the animals when the ground moved beneath me. It was like the whole earth groaned in pain. 
a cry unlike I've ever heard. The mountain trembled, and for a moment it seemed as if death was due to visit us here in Highgate. I don't know what you did, outsider, but I hope you did not hurt the mountain. She is our mother, and if a stranger were to wound her, I would slit their throat myself. Dann noch ein Blick zu Tusani. By the gods and by the death of gods, you still live. I don't know what you did, but I can sense something has shifted. A weapon has been discovered, perhaps, to turn the tide of bloodshed brought on by these sickening gods. Tell me, what did you find? No, I mustn't inquire, for fear of losing my mind as well as my eyes. Oh, I am struck by a peculiar yearning exile. It is as if I am a man stood on the precipice of a cliff with an insatiable longing for the ground. Please, leave me before the frenzied voices inside my head devour my body and soul. Wir sind alle ein bisschen mitgenommen davon, komischerweise. Aber da ich sonst beim nächsten Mal die Überfahrt nicht machen kann, werde ich jetzt noch rüberfahren. Damit dann in Ruhe beim nächsten Mal von dort gestartet werden kann. Ready to go? Just in time as well. Granddad says there's a good thaumaturgical headwind blowing our way. Okay, wir sind mal wieder an den Docks, wo ich beim letzten Mal, oder beziehungsweise wo ich vom ersten Teil dann gestartet bin. Und es wird direkt zum Kathedalen drach. Na, ich hoffe mal, dass der zweite Teil doch ein bisschen länger ist als nur ein Kampf. Es wird heute also Akt 9 abgeschlossen und beim nächsten Mal geht es dann mit Akt 10 weiter. Tschüss!